Hey everyone, Thunderbob here, and I was finally able to order uh, RTX 3080. I've been trying to order this damn thing for three weeks, and I finally got one ordered. It'll be here on Wednesday. I was able to order it yesterday on Friday. Um, it's coming from Best Buy. I got the Gigabyte Gaming OC. Not my first choice, but uh, it'll work. I had to make some changes to my case because I've got a mesh FIC that only fit up to a 315 millimeter card and this is a 320 millimeter card. I had to make some changes for five millimeters. I'll probably do a video demonstrating that after I get it installed next week and uh, some gameplay. Uh, but I wanted to share just a couple of quick tips on how I was able to order this card. Even with these tips it took me, what, two or three weeks? So don't think this is like a guarantee I'll get it. But um, there's a couple of things you can do to maximize your chance. So let's get right to it. The, th the first thing I'm going to suggest is to use the tools available to get as many notifications as you can for availability. The most useful one that I found was this Stock Drops Twitter, and they've also got a Discord. Uh, I would join their Twitter, set it to notify you. I would make sure you have Twitter running on your computer if you're in front of your computer. I would install it on your phone. Use this Discord link right here. You can join the channel. You can get notifications for whatever, um, you know, wherever you're located at. Yeah, so make sure you're following the 3080 or the 3090 uh, channel. Set up notifications. I would run this on both your computer and your phone. The Discord I found was the most useful for getting notifications. This is how I secured my card. Um, during the week, there'll be a lot of drops. Um, sometimes I'd get 20 notifications a day, and almost every time I did, unless I was in the middle of a meeting, I, I worked for my local government, or I was uh, you know, taking care of my daughter, I would get a notification and I would uh, attempt to buy it, either from my computer if I was in front of it, or from my phone. Um, I was in the end successful from my phone, so don't count that out. Um, you know, you might be able to do it from, from either place. Something else I could suggest would be putting all of the links for the regularly used um, websites in a folder, like if you're using Chrome, and I can just click this with my middle mouse button, and then it loads up. I had a tracker to see all the different cards and the ones that would fit my uh, computer and would not. Um, Best Buy, Newegg, Amazon, NVIDIA directly, though my understanding is that they will not be selling it themselves for the time being. Uh, other websites you might want to check, Sam's, surprisingly, had some PNY models up shortly, um, b and uh, places like um, eBay, like Newegg has an eBay store. All of these websites, I would make sure that you have logged in before, that you have uh, an account created, that you have payment methods saved, that you have your address verified. Basically, you want to get to this page the moment it comes up as quickly as, quickly as possible. And, um, you know, these, these buttons will, will be clickable. will say order now, you click on it. And literally, if you do not check out in about 15 seconds, even though it's in your cart, it will sell out and you will not get your card. Um, the only reason I really got it was because literally just before the vision went up, I went and double checked. Here's the vision card I was hoping to get. I double checked you know, all my information. Uh, I clicked, you know, the button, the moment it came up and I just clicked as hard uh, repeatedly, check out, check out, check out, check out. I tried to do the, uh, the buy now. And for a couple of, uh, of minutes, it actually didn't let me proceed. It was kind of saying like, like it was out of stock, in stock, out of stock. And then it just finally went through. Um, and I was even worried that it would get canceled because sometimes you get that far where they actually take your money and then they say, oh, sorry, we oversold it and you lose your card. So there's no guarantee even using the Discord, the Twitter, you know, checking these frequently that you're gonna get the card you want. I would try to buy it as quickly as possible, hope for the best. Um, for me, I'm running a Meshify C case and not all of these cards will fit that case. I ended up getting one that was actually just slightly too large and I had to make some configuration changes to my case. So. Uh, there's a couple of places out there that that list the dimensions and special characteristics of each card which ones are for three pins which card are two pins um, the size of them all uh, width height depth you know everything um, so take a look at that make sure you know which models you can use with your system 
Uh, and beyond that, it's it's to some extent just luck. You know, I've been trying to order for two weeks. I got them in my cart multiple times. I got through checkout a couple of times. Um, I had one ordered through CDW and it turns out that they were back ordered for several months. Um, so even if you order one, sometimes these companies are being shady and they actually don't have the product they're selling even though they say it's in stock. So, you know, be careful. Um, if you uh, get one of these cards, let me know. I'm, I'm curious if there's any other methods that people are using other than, you know, scalpers. Um, that's what we're trying to avoid. So I, I'll have some videos up Wednesday when I get my card. I actually had to do some modifications to my case. So I might do a video where I actually show what I had to do to get this new video card to fit and um, have some content up for new games like Control, maybe Doom Eternal. I've got Minecraft set up with uh, shaders with RTX and uh, it, it's, it looks really nice but it barely runs on my 1070 so I'm curious to see how it runs on the 3080. I'll have some content up not long after release though. So uh, check that out when it, when it goes up and uh, if you've got any thoughts on buying a 3080, if you've got your own stories, why don't you post them in the comments below. Thanks again for watching, you have a great night everyone.